they turn me up a little. Yeah. Hey, let me get a little more that they know who we at, man. Check the ratings. We got them up through the ceiling, like elevators. House of Vets in the building, go going crazy. This shit was made for television. Pass the remote, baby. Not going, subscribe, comment, go live. Tell a, a friend to go and tell a friend. Make sure you tap in, cause we at it again. It's all entertainment, cause we stay entertaining. Yeah, stay entertaining. Hey, turn me up a little. Yeah. Hey, let me get a little more. That they know who we at, man. Check the ratings. We got them up through the ceiling like elevators. House of Vets in the building. Go going crazy. This shit was made for television. Pass the remote, baby. Not going. Subscribe. Comment. Go live. Tell a, a friend to go and tell a friend. Of your inspiration today? So, Marty Moore from Tower Rangers, Red Ranger, Pink Ranger, Kimberly. Been a fan since I was a kid. Grew up in the 90s, you know. Uh, I try to make it more look like a mix between Tower Rangers and the military since we're both in the Army. Oh, so, we try to kind of mix up what we do, you know what I mean? Thank, thank you for, you your, for service. your service. Thank you, thank you. Uh, is the Red Ranger and the Pink Ranger your favorite out of all of them? Okay, okay. Are you guys here for the um, contest? Later no, on? we're just here to just enjoy the con, browse around the stuff that they got, look for Yu Gi Oh cards, you know what I mean? Okay. And just enjoy, have a good time. We're from Allentown, Pennsylvania, so we got a bit of a drive later. Okay. Yeah, okay. Where, can where, can people people find you? where can people find you on social media? Uh, Crixis Sanctus on Instagram. Oh. Okay. Do you have a card or no? No. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Hey, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. For the audience that may not know, can you explain a little bit about your booth? Um, so at our booth, we also have the stuff comic, the green magazine, um, and also my artwork. Um, I'm Abelard. I think I introduced myself, right? Did I? Introduce it's okay. <laughs> Um, but I go for as Abe for short, Abe Illustrations. This is my comic here that I've just released called Alternia. It's about a dream world that comes about as a result of this catastrophe that decimates most of the world's population. And as a great response, we have like this dream world that's kind of mysterious that comes about. So you'll see like in your dreams, everything is in like in color. We have a lot of lush colors. The themes of like blues and purples showing a lot. But then the real world is going to be in black and white. Oh, wow. Alright, um, so this is just the prelude chapter following our main character Malachi who has like a bit of like a deja vu experience and we're just gonna, we just put ourselves in his shoes to experience the uh, trauma he's going through but he makes it through it at the end, man. Okay. So, How yeah. long have you been writing comics? Um, I've been writing comics, well 
this comic in particular for about two years. Um, I just published it about a month ago. Okay, so congratulations. my first convention with the story. Um, so was it difficult you. or no? It was quite a ride. You know, the pandemic, um, you know, working a job at the yeah. time and just finding the time to write and also yeah. illustrate is tough because I did the writing and the illustrations for it as well. Um, I was always someone who thought to myself, I want this to be my baby, right? Yeah. I don't want anyone touching it. This is going to be my work only. But I needed a team of some sort, right? So I got uh, a friend of mine to do the logo. I got an editor to help me out. Um, a variant cover by my friend Vincent. Um, it's my car, yeah. So, um, yeah, eventually the team will grow, but I'll try to maintain the integrity of the story that I created because yes. this is my story. Thank, Thank you so much. Hey, I'm Travis Arts. I'm a voice actor. I voice uh, Hot Rod on Transformer Cyberverse. I'm uh, here with some fellow Cyberverse uh, cast members. And, uh, yeah. How long have you been voice acting? I've been voice acting for probably a little under 10 years. Yeah, doing commercials, promos for like Nickelodeon, Subway, Sprint, and then a couple of years in, I uh, got to do this uh, Transformer show, Transformer Cyberverse. Was it difficult at all? Difficult. I mean, you know, it was my first animated project that I'd ever done. Like I, before that, I just done commercials, promos, stuff like that. And so it was definitely. You know, the, a, a different element. A different element, yeah. yeah de definitely something to, to get you know a little acclimated to. But you know, once we got in the groove of it, we were a couple sessions in. It was, it's. I mean, it's my favorite thing for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Right here, what's going on, guys? It's Rare Monopoly. I carry a lot of the high-end Pokemon cards, high-end Yu-Gi-Oh cards, high-end Dragon Ball Z. I really try to focus on like you know the better cards, the rare cards. I also carry a bunch of Dragon Ball Z pops. Animation is big on the Funko Pop game. Guys, everybody check out. We're going to be at the Anime Food Festival tomorrow night. It's our first big event. Um, we got a lot. We got a little bit of everything: booster boxes, binder cards for the kids, high ends for the adults, high end for the kids, high end for everyone. Okay, and where can they find you? And you can find me on Instagram at rare dot monopoly and on Instagram. So check me out there. I post all my stuff there. Where I'm gonna be at and what I've got going on. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Man. This is H H German from Sigma Comics coming to you from Big Apple Comic Con. This is the Calico. The Calico gets intel on people who abuse and kill animals. He goes after them with extreme justice. This is issue number one right here. If you love animals and you hate animal abuse, here comes Calico. He makes the Punisher look like Gandhi. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Can you just explain to our audience a little bit about your book and how you came up with the concept? So, um, I'm a tattoo artist okay. and I like to do a lot of pin-up stuff. I kind of just draw what I feel like at the moment, yeah. no specific. So how long have you been tattooing? Um, it's been about five years oh, wow. now. So you did all this on your own? This side. This has kind of worked since I was 15. Oh, wow. Ignore that. So can uh, you tattoo all of this? No, most of my tattoo stuff is really different than what my group is. Like, I do a lot. I do a couple bit ups. Most of my tattoo work is more like black and gray, realism and stuff, but but I like to draw a lot of comics. Okay. And I love anime. And I've, I've gotten more into comics over the past couple yeah. years, but a lot of my stuff is more anime based. I like this because it shows women in power. Definitely. Thank you so much. that may not know who you explain who you are and what your booth is about? Yes. Uh, we are E.C. Spence. Uh, we're best friends and our book is called Anxious Stretch in Space Archaeologist. Oh, wow. It's an all LGBTQ sci-fi crew. I know that's fine. Huh? <laughs> and it features uh, a bisexual main character. Uh, everyone else on the crew is a different shape. 
Shade of the Rainbow, yep. and it features her going to space yep. for uh, a great classic sci-fi rom adventure. Yep. Is this your first book? Yeah, you? it is. Yeah. It's our debut. Oh, wow. Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah, it also has like mental health rep. She's she has anxiety. Who doesn't, um, right? Right, right. Um, and yeah, all of the merch is also based off the characters okay. and the book. Yeah, so space is game. <laughs> Where can the audience find you guys? Um, so we have our own website, ecspencepresents.com, right? Right. Right. <laughs> right? We're also available on Kindle Unlimited and Amazon yeah. for the book. And we have a red bubble that features all of the merch on the table. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Hey, thank you. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. For the audience that may not know, can you explain who you are and what the table is about? Yeah, so I'm Tiari, I'm an illustrator, um, and I also just got into apparel design. So I make prints, I make stickers, I make hats, like little accessories, like fanny packs, bags, and I also have a collection of like, Where can people find you? You can find me on social media, my website, um, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, uh, Chiari Art, and you can find my Use website www.chiari.com. So yeah, that's it. This is her card, you guys. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, this is Psylocke from X-Men, and it's one of her uh, art versions, and she's just a badass. Thank you. Is she one of your favorite characters? She's the favorite character out of the entire Marvel Universe. Right? I know, that's Yeah, funny. since I'm a child. Yes. Thank you. So my name is Anastasia and I do crafts and art, so I love art and I make some stuff. I usually like to recycle stuff, I like to make something new, so I do custom um, mushroom boxes, I do custom jewelry boxes and Pokemon boxes. And also my main thing is I do stickers. Um, unfortunately I didn't bring much but they're over there on the table, some of my artwork. And, um, yeah, this is pretty much what I do, custom artwork. How long have you been doing this? For about two years. Okay, okay. What would you say the hardest thing to make is? The hardest thing to make, let me think. Um, probably, I would say, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. It, it depends on the inspiration. Because yeah. sometimes I feel like I want to do something and I do it right away. And it comes out really nice and easy. Okay. But sometimes I have something that takes me forever to do, but it's really simple. Yeah. So it literally depends on okay. the, my mood, I guess. Okay. What, what would you say the easiest thing to make is? Um, the easiest thing to make? Because um, you have a lot of these, so this looks like it would be easy to make. No, that's actually the hardest thing to make. <laughs> I think for me, the easy thing to make is mushroom houses. Okay. I just take like all the details, so kind of like my thing, I like doing that. Um, some drawing, also pretty easy, like this. Sorry guys. Like stickers. Okay. This is really easy because I draw it on the iPad. It's digital drawing, so it goes yeah. really nice and smooth. Okay. And can you explain this gorgeous so, thing over here? So this is a steam, uh, steampunk style uh, rabbit mask, little bunny mask. Okay. Uh, I got inspired uh, because I actually learned how to use Pepakura. It's a Pepakura website that has several designs and like stuff you can just make out of paper. And one of the coolest things I've ever made was uh, my helmet, which I can show you okay. as a picture, because I didn't bring it today. Oh, it's okay. This is beautiful. You made this as well? Oh, the tree. <laughs> it's just Christmas decoration. Oh, okay. Disappointment, <laughs> right? Uh, this is probably was the hardest thing to make. Oh, wow. It's made out of DVDs and paper. I had it here last year. Okay. Do you know what it reminds me a little bit of? Iron Man. This is Iron Man. I thought it was Iron Man. See, I know my cartoons. All right. 
is the Iron Man for me. So it's made out of paper. Wow. So it took me a very long time to put it together. Okay, but so do you make you could probably make a costume then. Yes, I'm working on it. So I was looking for a mannequin to like build the other parts because I start making a neck, but I can't do it out of paper unless I have something sewing under. Yeah. Since I'm planning to do all the armor, I'm looking for like a man like sort of mannequin, but for clothes. I don't know if it makes sense. I know what you mean. Because most of the clothes mannequins, they made out of women's shape. Yeah. But the Iron Man is male, yeah. so and it's kind of hard to make it in the yeah. women's shape. Well, so you can use me, I'm here. Okay. And, yeah, one of the, like, also, cute mushroom houses was something like this. Okay. So is, is this your brother or your assistant? This is my boyfriend. Oh, boyfriend, okay. See, I went with the safe answer first, brother, because... <laughs> A lot of people say boyfriend, and it's not their boyfriend. So I was like, you know, let me go with brother first. See, he's got the other one. Yeah, I should see. I should have went with the boyfriend. Oh, I also. Do you work with your girlfriend on her projects, or are you just a supporter? Yes, he actually helped me to do this one. Okay. And this one. Okay, so we got a double team work over here. Yeah. Okay. okay. He he helps me with everything. He drives me around, helps me to set up. Oh. You, know. so you guys are a team then. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much for the interview. You enjoy your stay at this lovely Kong Kong. I appreciate it. Thank you. And we will see you on YouTube, Instagram, and all that. Hi, hey, how are you? Good, how about you? I'm good. I'm good. For those that may not know, can you just explain who you are and what's on the table? So we're simple. So basically, we're just trying to make a comic book about an interracial couple because uh, I'm Colombian and he's Chinese. Loosely based off of us, essentially. Yeah. And the comic book is called Leon Not Lee. So I'm the writer and he's the animator. He does all the animation. Oh, wow. Hello, guys. He does your original. And, um, That's a great team. A writer and a person who does the drawing. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's just basically about like, the struggles that we kind of encountered as being a couple and you know, being from different cultures, completely different cultures, uh, like language and all that stuff. So, yeah. How, how long have you been writing? Um, I, we, we just started this in May. Oh, wow. Yeah. It awesome. looks good. Thank you. Thank you. you are in your way. Thank you. We're also, even though it's just a story about us, like Chinese and Colombian, we're also like including other characters, like, oh wait, that's not a good example. <laughs> like this, for example. Like, she's Dominican, he's black, he's black Muslim. Um, so we just talked about like just different things, different cultures, different colors. Yeah, you know, good. The world needs that. Yeah. Absolutely. You need something that everyone can relate to. Absolutely. Because you know, it's it's like all like the same story. You know? yeah. You're trying to like change it up. Like, okay. whatever. Can story. you explain the shirts behind you? Oh yeah. So we kind of like made these shirts to like sell at these conventions and over, and also kind of like, promote like the front cover of our um, comic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And this is Leon, and this is Valentina. Okay. So yeah, so this is loosely based on us. Very loosely. Kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, so, yeah, basically they're like in Hong Kong. Oh wow! Yeah, I should have figured that because yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. Move into the community. And hey, can you explain this? What's on the table for those that may not know? Oh yeah, that's also like that's like another like, cover. Uh, oh, is this gonna be a book? Yes. A comic book. Okay. Yeah. So this is the next project you guys are working on. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the same project. It's like, just like we just have we just want to show like concept art of like the characters. Yeah, this is basically like what, whatever's in this book, it's like all concept art, not all of it will be used. Oh, okay, gotcha. But it's just like showing you what we've got so far. Where um, can people find you guys? Oh, on Instagram. Um, it's like um, open this business card, I think. Yeah. So this is their business card, you guys. And this yeah, we only have the one card, unfortunately. Oh, no, yeah, I got you, I got you. So it's going to be, so it's just the uh, at Leon, not Lee. That's basically what our Instagram is. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.